Come on, folks. Let's go downstairs. <gasps> downstairs. Come on. Are you ready? Come on, guys. Downstairs. That's right, Fitz. That's you, too. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to, well, I don't even know what day it is. Okay, let's think. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Vlog week day five. Every time I say vlog week, I almost say vlogmas. Anyways, um, hi guys. It's Monday. It is currently 9.40. I have done my rooting, took the dogs out, fed the dogs. They're kind of just playing right now. And I'm currently uploading the vlog from today. I don't even really know how to start this conversation. And I've been meaning to like say this in vlogs recently. And then like some of you guys, I saw a comment that was saying like, it seems like I'm getting annoyed with Q. And it's like literally couldn't be further from the truth. I feel like I've just been so off the past few days. I'm like in between meds and all of this stuff. And I feel like I just have like, I don't know. I'm just really, really down right now. And I think I'm just, I don't even necessarily know what it's accredited to. <laughs> Actually, yes, I do. It definitely is the meds. So I'm trying my absolute best. Get in a better mood and having a day, which um, I wanted to just kind of like vlog today, like putting myself in a better mood just because definitely this weekend I was so down. Like, hi Fitz. Hi boy, you're so cute. His freckles, guys, are like beautiful. Coco's sitting behind me. I think sometimes I'll go through a little funk or like a few days where i'm just like really really down and then sometimes it's bad enough to where it will kind of spiral and i feel like it's just kind of spiraled i don't know i've even just been like so kind of like negative towards myself and like comparing myself to other people and i don't feel like that's my normal day to day it's definitely the past like few days i've been so hard on myself and i'm like my podcast sucks my youtube channel sucks like all the vlogs are bad like no one even wants to watch them like I don't know. The true test is like what you say to your boyfriend because I will say things and I can't even believe that I got them out. Like for example, I'm like saying everything that I just said to you to him and I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually like feel that way right now. So anyways, um, I'm just starting off this vlog clearly on such a great note, but I did just want to talk to you guys and I've been meaning to just about like, I don't know, I've just been feeling really down and off and I know that so many of you guys are probably feeling that way and like obviously the world is crazy. The internet is like a really, really negative place to be right now. And when I say that, I want to make it very, very clear that I'm not referring to any of the like social injustice going on. Like the Black Lives Matter movement, everything that's been happening with that. The things that have occurred obviously are so heartbreaking, but the things that are happening with the movement as far as like just like the attention and like everything that's been happening has been really really great like i want to make it very clear that i'm not talking about the internet being a negative place with seeing things that have been realities for people for so long like that is not what i'm referring to i think that completely outside of that people are just so like mean right now and so hateful and i'm like actually a lot more sensitive than i let on I it's really hit or miss with me on if comments are going to bother me or not and i'm definitely in a place where comments are bothering me right now and i'm so sensitive like even what like people say to other people i don't know i just like have been extra sensitive lately i'm gonna go into the doctor today to get this situated but the only way i would describe it right now and this is my fault because i have not the past few days i know that i've switched i'm switching and all this stuff so i have not been like taking them when i'm supposed to be and blah 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 which i'm normally so strict with that because things like this happen but i basically am just like really down i can't feel any good emotion i'm just like numb i don't know you probably only really understand if you're like somewhat on meds but it's just not been the best and i don't know i'm like two steps away from crying at all times like i just don't know what's up hopefully the doctor really helps me today i'm trying my best to just like get in a better mood like i literally read my bible for an hour today and i was like please please you know do you want to come say hi but i have my puppies with me so oh hi you are just the cutest thing I've ever seen, besides Coco. You're the cutest boy I've ever seen. He's been having a lot of fun this morning. He, thank God, loves all the toys that I bought for Coco that she doesn't like, so I'm glad that I kept them. Oh, dude, no, no bite, no bite. Oh my gosh, guys, you know what I need to make today that will definitely put me in a better mood? There's this Dolly Parton TikTok of a dog for nine to five, and oh my god, I need to make it. I absolutely have to make it today. It's like, do I go work out? Because here's my thing, working out makes me feel better, yes, but like, I have to run today, and like, running is not really like, something I look forward to. Actually, sometimes it is, but not today. Fitz is like, guys, I can't even describe like, how odd, he's just an odd, odd dog. 
Um, at least I have my Dolly Parton mug. I'm gonna say three things I'm grateful for. I need to be going back on my gratitude journal. <gasps> Hi, are you okay? Okay, three things I'm grateful for today. I love my, oh, I would say my puppy, but no more. Let's see, I have great friends. I love my home, it just is so cozy, and I love my family. Those are three things I'm grateful for. Hey, stop it. Hi, you're so silly. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I'm sure all of you guys are really, really um, excited for today's video. But anyways, we're gonna try to get in a better mood. So I guess I will go work out. After I finish this running challenge, I wanna do the 12, 3, 30. I've been watching Lauren Gerardo's vlog since she moved, um, love her. And she swears by 12, 3, 30, and so I really, really wanna do that. I've decided that what I need today is a Melissa Wood Health workout. We have my mat from Lulu, I love this mat. And then I have my bottle of bangles. The candles are still burning and I have it out on the TV. Okay, so I'm going to start with the new flow because she posted this on her Instagram and said it's incredible. So I'm really excited. I just love Melissa Wood Health, guys. You have no idea. Just finished the workout and already feel so much better. I'm gonna go to the dogs out and then I'm gonna come back in, turn on the morning toast, um, and then make some juice because I got a lot of things to juice and I just realized that I haven't actually juiced anything. I am now about to start juicing. I'm making lunch in the background. Um, the air fryer is going off, ignore the mess in the kitchen, but I changed, guys, I'm wearing my Outdoor Voices Quartz Court for the first time. Oh my gosh, this might just be Look, I like this better than the exercise dress. Like, wow, I got a size small for reference. I'll link it down below. They definitely do have other colors. Um, I might even want the gray one. Like, I just want to live in stuff like this. I need better tank tops that are like the same material as this, you know? Alright guys, so I just made myself some juice, very excited. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. And then for lunch, I made myself some salmon on a kale salad with cucumbers and strawberries. It looks so good. So I have to say, I took this morning and did all the things that make me feel better. I worked out, I did my favorite workout, Melissa Wood Health, and then I showered, I got ready, I'm wearing like clothes I actually like. And then I juiced and I made a healthy lunch. So I'm just feeling a lot better, especially after the Melissa Wood Health workout. Um, also, I'm finally wearing my bracelet. Our, we got these friendship bracelets in New York in December and I'm so bad about wearing bracelets, but I wanna get a few and stack them because then I feel like I'll wear them more and I think it's really cute. Oh my gosh, remember when it was like arm candy and you would like, ugh, wow, anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my green juice and my salad and then I'm gonna head off to the doctors in probably like 20 minutes. All right guys, I'm off to the doctors, the really exciting things that um, 2020 brings. When you go to the doctor and it's like a full event, you know? Love Dallas, guys, so cute. All right guys, I am out of the doctor's office. I got my blood drawn. I'm actually like terrified of getting my blood drawn because I get like really, I haven't actually all the way fainted, I don't think, but like really, really close to it. Like I have to stay at the doctor's office and drink apple juice for like hours on end after, but that was really quick today and I feel totally fine. Best nurse ever. So I didn't even notice it was happening. I mean, I knew it was happening, but you know what I mean? It wasn't that bad. And I feel very tough and on top of the world. I'm hopeful that things will be better soon. It's really freaking hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little parachute return. I need to exchange these for another color so i'm returning these to some like drop-off location that they have set up for covid um and then i'm going to be able to order the right shade online which will be exciting all right for my dallas girls i'm at the paper source on cole it's like knox henderson um but apparently there's like a return bar here that you go and you drop your stuff off at so that's what i'm doing Wow, guys, I'm really working on not complaining about the heat in these vlogs, but like, 
so bad. So I just went to Trader Joe's. I spent like $120 because I got so much stuff. And I made a list before, but I still just let myself go crazy. And like, it'll be good because I'm not going to be ordering food. But I just can't believe I got so... I got four bags of food, guys. Um, and then... The boys are currently taking out my trash, so I am bribing them with all the land. So I went and picked that up, and I'm gonna go home. Whew. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. I had to make like five trips up the stairs, and townhouse life, you just realize how to shape you are, you know? I have four bags. Let me know if you guys don't want me to keep doing these Trader Joe's haul. I feel like I do them so often in vlogs, like every other vlog. And this one, I did get some different things, but just let me know if you guys don't wanna see them, because I understand. <laughs> These are like some of my favorite noodles. Oh, also, I got a package from Saturday Skin when I got back. It came with this little cute candle that smells so good. You guys know me in candles. Um, and then this is just the vitamin C overnight mask, which I'm really, really excited for. I'm not even gonna open it yet. So the boys are taking a bunch of trash out. Basically, I had a lot of trash. My trash can is never big enough, so they have to go take it to this like dump at one of our like parents, but it's this whole thing. Anyways, it's a really big pain and I love them. I'm so grateful. Oh, I got some more K-Cups. Butter, just for a recipe. I don't normally have butter. Croutons, I'm gonna make better salads, I've decided. And then I got hummus because I really like putting hummus in salads. And then this Greek, what is it? No, spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip, guys. This is like next level, so good. Olives for the salad, a refill of my favorite seasoning. I got some chips, brown rice pasta just to always have on hand because if you don't know what to make, I pretty much always have brown rice pasta, some sort of marinara sauce, and then kale and broccoli, and that's like the easiest meal ever. Avocados, because I've been loving my avocado toast. We have some bananas and then some rosemary for a recipe. Kale, I got sourdough bread instead of gluten-free bread to try out because this one's bigger and I've heard that this is incredible. So yeah, I'm just gonna see which one I like better. I actually do love their gluten-free bread though. Green goddess salad dressing, pesto for Q, lemons for my hot lemon water, and honestly for everything, I put lemons in everything. Two things of eggs because I'm gonna start eating eggs with my avocado toast because my doctor told me to. And um, I also need them because I'm trying to make egg bites. More greens, I got the romaine salad. And then also power to the greens, baby kale. More broccoli, pepperoni. Q and I made homemade pizza one night from Trader Joe's and it was so bomb. So I just picked up some more of the pizza dough. Sometimes I don't have it there. And then the pizza sauce, so good. I got some feta for salads. I got some cheese for um, just like random things that I needed it for, but mainly for the egg bites, but I hopefully can make them soon. The last thing I got is a lot. It's the spatch cooked lemon rosemary chicken. I'm realizing now that I probably should have gotten more pasta for this. I was actually shopping to make this and then I saw that they already had it made. So I was like, what the heck? So I'll let you guys know how we like this. I'm excited. Looks bomb. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna remake this TikTok with Coco because it's literally the most me thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My talent here and I are on our last shot for our TikTok. She is killing it. Okay, we got this done in minutes. Wow, guys. Okay, if you ever wanna be in a better mood, make a TikTok of your dog because it's actually the funniest thing ever. Um, Wow, we all know I'm the biggest Dolly Parton fan out there, so it was just so fitting. All right, guys, if you are coming from this vlog, go to my TikTok. It's just at Kenzie Elizabeth Hay and comment that you're coming from the vlog and I can stalk you guys. But also, it is the best TikTok ever. Like, I can retire my entire career on the internet after making this TikTok because it's, it's literally that good. <laughs> All right guys, so it is almost midnight, very late for me. I love going to bed early, as we know. So anyways, I'm feeling a lot better than I have been feeling the past few days, especially this morning. I think sometimes I'll just get in like a little bit worse of a headspace. I'm like so unbelievably grateful for medicine. Like I am so much better because of my meds but I've just been like irresponsible the past few days and it just like really messes you up. So anyways, um, I'm glad that I took today to just do a lot of things that I really liked and I like was a little more intentional with that. Also, I was thinking tonight and deep thought and I think that I was just using the wrong metrics. Like, I don't know, I was saying things and doing things and like feeling things that I normally wouldn't even really feeling. Just thinking like, okay, the things that I'm like, you know, all messed up about are things that I actually don't even care about anyways. Anyways, I'm feeling better, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We only have like, I think two days left of vlog week, which is really crazy, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.